Welcome to Cars, Trees, and Traditions. This is uh, the Walter P. Chrysler Museum's exhibit that unites cars and changing fashions and holiday trees uh, just in time for the holiday season. And this year we feature about 17 different trees that display the changing ways since 1910 that people have approached the holidays and decorating evergreen. In back of me here is our section for 1962. The car is a Chrysler turbine car, but the trees are something that everyone remembers from the 1960s. Aluminum trees, which really were a national fad during that whole decade. Uh, the nation bought about four million of the things between 1959 and 1970. And you can just about hear the sounds of Telstar playing in the background when you see these things. And of course, they're rotating slowly on their stand. This is the section of the exhibit that's devoted to 1985. Uh, by 1985, holiday decorating had gotten to the point that it had its own series of tradi traditions. People were actually beginning to collect vintage ornaments. And so companies like Hallmark began producing ornaments that were specifically intended to be future collectibles. So we have an entire tree here decorated with Hallmark collectible ornaments. Welcome to 1956. Uh, the, the backdrop is four cars from the mid-50s from the museum's exhibit, but the tree is specifically 1956. By this time, there had gotten to be a substantial industry producing Christmas ornaments for uh, the holiday crowds, and uh, virtually every ornament on this tree and the light strings as well were all American-made, as opposed to what had been the practice before, where there was a heavy reliance on ornaments imported from Europe. This tree is 1953. Uh, anybody that grew up from uh, during the 1950s or the 40s remembers bubble lights. And when people see this tree, there's always a shock of recognition. Bubble lights were invented in the early 1940s and became a fad that really defined the way trees were decorated in the 1940s and 1950s. So we have a tree that is bedecked with bubble lights. One of the sections of the uh, regular exhibit is what we call then and now, where we contrast an earlier product with a current Chrysler Group product. So we thought it would be nice to have a then and now tree. But what makes this one uh, stand out is a revolution in lighting for holiday trees. In this case, the blue LED lights that you see uh, on the left side of the tree. Uh, there really has been a steady revolution during the uh, 20th century in the way holiday trees were lit, starting off with candles and highly expensive electric uh, bulb sets in the early 1900s uh, and then getting to the point as, as we can see here that we've got actually uh, LED lighting uh, used which is a lot more long lasting and a lot more brilliant. One of the things that's interesting about this exhibit is the way fashions and trees change. In the 1970s everybody was going back to the earth and a lot of the traditional themes uh, were echoed in trees in the 1970s where everything tended to be made of natural materials and look rustic. Then in the 1980s, uh, when the economy warmed up, in spite of the fact that the cars were relatively prosaic, everybody went for the affluent look. So you get a tree like this, which is uh, a flock tree uh, decorated with uh, gold ornaments. This was really morning in Ronald Reagan's America and the trees reflected that. In the movie The Graduate, there's the famous bit of dialogue where the Dustin Hoffman character, just graduated from college, uh, is told that from a career standpoint there's one word, and that word is plastic. Well, plastic had its way with holiday trees as well, and plastic ornaments began to be very common in the 1950s. So we thought it would be fun to do one tree with nothing but vintage plastic ornaments from the 1950s and this tree is the result. We hope you'll consider joining us in our exercise in holiday nostalgia and come to the Walter P. Chrysler Museum for Cars, Trees and Traditions and it will be on at the museum until December 30th.